Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to another weekly update. Now I talked about the successes last week of the Agricultural Bill and the Trade Agricultural Commission and the reporting that would be uh, laid down in the bill and I'm delighted this week to tell you that the bill has now become the Agricultural Act of 2020 and incredibly poignant for me and I'm sure for you that it received royal assent on the 11th of November Remembrance Day. And I think that actually speaks volumes. When I look back at the last Agricultural Act in 1947, obviously on the back of two world wars where not only have we seen a starving Europe, but we'd faced that situation here with food rationing and a different approach taken back then that it was incredibly important for this island nation to be able to, wherever possible, feed itself. So I think the timing is, is telling and and really has meaning. Um, when I look back at the journey of that bill and I remember being on the Today programme with Michael Gove and Nick Robinson at the time saying, you know, well, this looks like the environment bill. There isn't any mention of agriculture. There isn't any mention of food production. And um, that, I think, created quite a change in, in Michael Gove's mind that this was the agricultural bill and it had to be, as we kept saying, about agriculture. We then saw quite a period of change, I think, and quite a, an evolution of the bill and the thinking behind it. There were still some critical areas, particularly around food standards, where we weren't making the progress needed and hence everything that happened in between. So I'm delighted that that reporting amendment is laid down in the bill on all aspects of agri-food in trade deals. But there are other things too, and what I would pick out, because I think it works very well alongside the role of the TAC, is we were told from day one that food security was going to be monitored every five years, and actually that has now been changed. It's going to be looked at first in 2021, and then three yearly after that. That really paves the way very well for the term of the next parliament, something that I am very focused on is setting the foundations right for the future of the NFU and the future officeholder team. And as we go into the next election, there will not only be the review of the Trade Agriculture Commission, but we will have the Food Security Report. We will have had two by then. Um, and it will be obviously testing against things like self-sufficiency to monitor the impact of trade. It will pave the way very, very well for influencing all political parties as we go into the term of the next parliament. Um, in other matters, which of course are, are enormous at the moment, the, the day job is, is ever bigger. Uh, Brexit is obviously coming to a conclusion. We're still no idea whether we leave with a deal or without a deal. All the mood music is saying there will be a deal. Chances are it'll be a thin deal, which is not what is needed, but it will allow for a, a evolutionary approach um, to making that deal really work for farmers and growers here, making sure that we can export and import with as little friction as possible. But looking on to next week and what is happening, I'd really urge you to get involved with our Net Zero event. Uh, my Deputy President Stuart Roberts will be heading that up and working with Karis Jones, who's done so much for us on, on climate change. This will really bring to life what actually we see Net Zero looking like at farm level. Obviously, we set the ambition for achieving net zero by 2040. We do feel it's a key part of the new agricultural policy and focus has always been on wanting to pitch farmers as a solution. Um, another thing that's going on is, is NFU Talks. These are podcasts that, that we're working on to really try in this sort of virtual world where we can't meet face to face. Um, so do have a, have a look at NFU online and do have a, a listen to the podcast. Um, I think it, it really does provide, I've done one and Nick von Westenholz has done one, it really does provide uh, a window inside uh, the journey that we're on, on many different aspects on your behalf. So as ever, and to all of you, please do stay safe, please do look after yourselves and I really look forward to speaking to you again next week. Thank you.